When you have a resource mailbox, you can configure the settings for those mailboxes through the Exchange Management shell. But it certainly is much easier to do this from within the Outlook Web Access or Outlook Tools. Under the Resource Settings, there are three sections that you can see here. Resource Scheduling Options, Resource Scheduling Permissions, and Resource Privacy Options. And there's also a response message down here at the bottom. Now, it doesn't make sense to go through each and every single little option because most of them are self-explanatory. But let's talk about some of the ones that aren't so clear. To start with, we would turn on resource scheduling options. Here it's obvious that some of these options are logical. In this case, maximum number of days. This is the number of days that a resource can be booked in advance. So in this case, the default is 180 days in order to book a room or to book a piece of equipment. You can limit the meeting duration. And then here you notice allow conflicts. You notice this checkbox is not selected because for the most part, you probably don't want to allow conflicts, but it's up to you if you do. In this case, allow recurring meetings. This allows a person to schedule a recurring meeting. And that's for those meetings that are known to take more than one time frame to complete the agenda. And you can configure the number of individual conflicts or the percentage of individual conflicts. Down here, we have resource scheduling permissions. By default, anyone and everyone can schedule a piece of equipment or a room if it's available. However, you might want to alter that. You might have a specific room that has special equipment, and perhaps you only want a handful of executives or individuals that you trust to handle that room or that piece of equipment. In that case, you can actually adjust the settings on that resource mailbox. We're not talking about all resources, but for that particular resource, whether it's a room or a piece of equipment, and you can have it be select users and groups. So you can alter any one of these settings. Then we have resource privacy options. And again, self-explanatory with little checkboxes, and they're all selected by default, so it's up to you if you want to disable some of these options. Always add the organizer name to the meeting subject. Always remove the private flag on an accepted meeting, so on and so forth. And then you might wonder, what's a response message? Well, if you select the checkbox, add additional text that will be included in responses to meeting requests, you can add that additional text. You can even format it so that it looks right. And then that text will be included in responses to meeting requests. So this makes it very easy to see how a resource mailbox has additional resource settings that a standard mailbox doesn't have. In fact, if we go to the scheduler mailbox and we scroll down in the options here, we see that it's not included. And that makes sense because it's just a mailbox. It's not a resource mailbox like Conference Room 1. So we hope you found that helpful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.